Hello, everybody. So, I've been back in WoW for about uh, three weeks now, and I have almost strictly used my 360 controller, which is what I'm using right this very now. Why? Why would anyone do this, for one? Well, personally, I have ruthless carpal tunnel, and it's honestly just hurts less to use a controller. So, I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing it and how you guys can. Now, the app I'm using to do this is called Controller Companion. If I'm going a little bit too quick for you on this, note that I already have a tutorial on this particular app, and you can get to it from right there. So if you're not completely understanding what I'm saying, check that video out, and you might get a little bit of clarity. So, how does this work? First off, right here, this is my controller button layout. You can see right here, that I have several other games also bound to my Controller Companion app. So, if I launch XCOM 2, a different set of key bindings will automatically load, as if I launch WoW. So, let's go ahead and look at these key bindings now. Go here to Edit. So this is what I'm actually using here. And I know it looks like a bunch of gobbledygook to a lot of you, probably, and that's okay. I'm going to show it to you guys in a way that's probably a lot easier to understand. Let's jump back to WoW. Alright, so to start off, the left toggle on the controller is controlling my WASD, the W-A-S-D, which is of course your movement. I can simply tilt the stick to the left, and it pans left. I tilt it to the right, it pans right. Back, forward. The right stick that's going to control my mouse. It is a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning, but if you guys bind the controller the way that I'm getting ready to show you, you're going to realize how little you can actually use your mouse and still go really pretty quick in fights. All right, now bring your attention to the main hot bar. Ah, that's a little bit easier to see. And I have the first four buttons set up as A, X, Y, B. Now, with Controller Companion, you can hold Select or Back on a controller to activate any button's secondary feature. So, now holding Select, we have 5, 6, 7, 8. The final four on that is Down, Left, Up, Right. And you can put anything and those 12 spots there using these key bindings and it works great. Say I just absolutely want to murder this tree. So I go up to it using the key bindings. Tree's now dead. I have my looter ring set to directional up and now I've looted it. I know it looks like it's going to be quite a lot to learn, but I assure you guys it becomes second nature so fast. Most of the time, I don't even have to look at the hotbar to know what I'm casting because you'll just remember after a little while. So, if it's 1 to 4, you're just going to use these four buttons. If it's 5 to 8, you're going to use the same four, but hold select first. And 9 to 12 is going to use the directionals. So you can just look at your hotbar and see, okay, number seven, I want to drain life that wolf or whatever. Well, number seven is the third button in the second set. Third button means Y. So I hold select and hit Y, and there it is. Now, I have the left bumper. That one is set into tab. So... It's trying to show me that there's a whole bunch of these little orchids over here. I can select whatever I want by tabbing along. The right bumper, I have that bound to this spot right here. Now, generally in games, if I get the option to choose what button controls a healing, I always try to get it bound to the right bumper, so I did the same thing in WoW. If I'm in a character that doesn't use health stones, then I throw a potion there. I get into Dire Straits, hit the bumper right, and I'm healed. Now we move on to the left and right trigger. Left trigger, that is my left click. Right trigger is my right click. So I can hold down the right trigger and 
look around just like you normally would with a mouse. Or like the left trigger, look all the way around like you would with a mouse. And I can not hold the left toggle at all and just hold my two triggers and you run because that's the same thing as pushing the left and right mouse buttons. Let's jump back to this. You guys can see really clearly that I have several buttons where the secondary function is bound to nothing. You'll actually kind of be surprised at how few buttons you use on a regular basis. Now, you can bind them, but you don't have to. I have tons of buttons all over my screen, as you can very clearly see. But most of the things that are not on my hotbar, I don't really use that often, so I don't mind to just reach down here and click it. Talk to the bling bot. There we go. And complete quest. Move on. Toggle next. He's down. And looted. Now, what about things that uh, you are going to use a little more often, but not often enough you, you want it to be bound to a primary button? Well, for me, I can hold select, hit the left trigger, and that brings up my inventory and can send that back away all the same. Hold select and hit the right trigger, brings up my map, and send it away. You can bring up the map, hit your right trigger, same thing as hitting right click. Find where you want to look at, and close it out. Now, other things that you're going to use fairly often is your auto run. My auto run is bound to L3 or pushing in the left stick. All I do, click it, and I just take off running. And the right stick, that's my jump. So, what you need to do is what I'm sure many of you have done at some point or another in WoW. You're going to bring up your key bindings. And here you find jump. Okay, spacebar or numpad zero. You can then jump into your control companion. Say, I want my right click press to be space. Apply and OK. So what else would you use? Okay, let's look at, hold on a minute. You, go away. Yes, that's right. Fall before my might. All right. Back to key bindings. Targeting, target nearest enemy. For me, I had it bound to numpad 4 or F, so jump back to controller companion, wow, edit, and I wanted the left bumper to be bound under F. Everything on the left side of the screen is your primary bindings, meaning that you only press that and you don't have to be holding select. Everything on the right is the secondary where you do hold select. So, what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to copy all of this stuff and throw it down in the description below. And using this, just like I'm showing you, you can completely load my stuff in and like, well, I don't really like the way I did this. So, I would like to change this to be mouse scroll down or whatever. I want that button bound to, say, a combo key. Um, shift plus B, which is open all bags and wow. This program is so easy to use. I got it on Steam, and honestly, I think it was like $2.99, not even on sale. That was just the price, like $2.99 for this program. And, uh, well, my wrists are thanking me. Whenever I decide I want to play WoW, I just load up my Steam client library. Then I'm going to go down to the software tab, controller companion launch. That'll get sent right down here to the bottom of the screen, controller companion. When that's up, all I got to do is launch WoW, and it will automatically load in all my WoW Controller Companion presets. That's it, guys. This is so, so simple. If you have any questions, throw it down in the comments. I'll be happy to help any of you figure this out. I really do hope this is able to help some of you guys out there and maybe get rid of a little bit of your carpal tunnel. Um, 
It's definitely making a difference to me. Thank you guys so much for watching.